Jennifer, one of the more intriguing parts of this project has been the way that the community has come together and wanted to have input into it. Absolutely. We've actually had a lot of facilitated community feedback, um, both formal through the town council as well as informal. Um, through people actually just coming to us and emailing us and calling us and talking to us and telling us what they really want in this project. I think behind us is one example of that. Um, would you talk a little bit about this sign and what it's going to be and Absolutely. why it's going to be the way it is? So this sign, this is going to be the monument sign at the, at the opening of the park and it's, it's going to be really a gathering place and so it's really important for the community. It'll be lit, there'll be spot for people to sit and it'll be a very central location within the park. So what was really neat was um, the LDS Church is uh, rededicating the Mesa Temple and as a result of that um, youth throughout the entire state are actually doing service projects right now. So, Kenny, do you want to talk about how we were able to engage our local youth on this project? Well, they came to us and said, we want to do something that's going to make a difference and it's going to be something that the community uh, will really benefit. Uh, and so we suggested to them they look at doing this sign. Um, after putting them together with Louise, who is an amazing stone worker, um, they came up with the idea of, of basing these with real stone from right here in Rim Country. Absolutely. And not only that, but they're doing it themselves. And it's neat to see our young people have ownership in this project. So already, as soon as they come on site, they immediately gravitate to the work that they did. And so this is going to be yet another testament to the community involvement and the depth of meaning of this park to the town of Payson. On a broader scale, we also had major components to the park that were added or changed as a result of community feedback. Well, interestingly enough, the, the way the park layout is set here, the way we've reorganized it so that we have a truly family-friendly par family park in the sense that the ball fields, adjacent to the ball fields, we will have ramadas where mothers can come and not only watch their kids play ball, but can also have their younger children there in a playground setting and can be there in a comfortable in a, in a comfortable setting. And the same is true also up by the sand volleyball courts, which were also added as a result of community feedback. Uh, the sand volleyball, the bocce ball, as well as the pickleball also have a little shade ramada that folks can sit under while they're waiting for their turn. So it's these types of details that are going to make this whole project extremely friendly to not only families, but to the community as a whole. And it will truly be a, a community of Payson Parks.